In this video, you will learn how to create employee accounts, set permissions, and activate an employee account. To create a new employee account, navigate to your menu and select the Control Center. From the Control Center menu, select Accounts. This will open the Manage Accounts page, where you can create and manage employee accounts. Only users with admin access can edit existing accounts and create new employee accounts. To add an employee, click Add Account. This will open the Add Account form. Fill in the employee details for the new account. Keep in mind that by default, the first name, last name, and email address are visible to partners. This setting can always be customized or disabled. Reach out to our support team if you would like to learn how. To notify an employee about their new account and to prompt them to create a password, select Send Activation Email Notifying User of Account Creation. Next, you can choose to add additional contact information. From there, you will need to review the information in the Preferences section. By default, the time zone, currency, and language are set to that of your company instance. The final section of the form is the Authorization section. This is where you can set the permissions of the new employee. All company instances come with the admin role already created. This role has all permissions by default. Roles can be created and managed under Control Center and Roles. Back on the form, next you can set whether the employee is an advertiser manager, partner manager, both or none. If advertiser and or partner manager is selected, you have the option to define the user as a default manager for new partners and adver or advertisers. Additionally, if you authorize the account to be a partner manager, you have the option to define access permissions. You must set whether to grant the employee global access permissions, which would allow them to access details on all partners company-wide, or limited access to their partners, which means they can only view or manage partners and the reporting if they are assigned as the partner manager. Now that you have defined authorizations and completed filling out the form, you can click Add. Success! Your new employee account has been created. You will be redirected to the account details page where you can get an overview of the account information. From this page, you can email the employee link to reset their password by selecting Send Password Reset Email. If the employee did not receive a notification when the account was created, you can use this prompt to have them create a password. To go back to the Manage Accounts page, go up to the breadcrumbs and click Accounts. Finally, if you would like to give admin rights to an employee, click on the three vertical dots and select Administrator Rights. And there you have it. You've successfully learned how to create an employee account, set their permissions, and have them activate their login.